Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Fusion here, and welcome to a new video that I'm not used to used to doing on this channel. I'm going to be doing a After Effects tutorial, which um, you will be making something along the lines of this. Uh, I will. Uh, yeah, it, it's quite it's quite a good thing. I'm uh, doing it from a stream. I bought it doing that as well as doing this. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be quite an interesting uh, little video that we can do, and I'll teach you um, some things that you probably didn't know in After Effects. Um, yeah, so let's get into this new composition. 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. Now this can be any time. I've done about eight seconds. Um, we're going to name this uh, logo design. Oh, logo, yeah, okay, logo design. So yeah, but now what you want to do is you want to get your logo that you are wanting to use. I have my logo right here. It's gonna just load in a few seconds. There you go. I have my logo right there. Uh, it's a new logo that I haven't really used before. Um, yeah, there is one thing that you need to do is you need to go download and. And the Sabre plugin that will be linked in the description, obviously, so you will not have to do anything at all. So, yeah, go download that. That is essential for this for it to work. So, yeah, now what you want to do, right click on this, hit pre compose, um, just hit leave all attributes. Um, so, you've got this, uh, you don't really want to really notice the difference yet. What you want to do, hit this, hit layer. Hit auto trace down the bottom right here. Um, obviously, you can use my um, sounds. I think it, uh, that they are mic ones. So yeah, and hit OK. Now you won't notice a difference until you click this button right here. Click it, and you'll see that there is an, uh, uh, a lot of uh, place markers around there. So that is um, yeah quite a good thing now what you do is you want to type come to effects and presets type in saber and you just want to drag and drop that into the composition like so now this will pop up uh, nothing too difficult what you want to do right now is you want to come to customize car car type and you want to take put it to layer masks now as you can see it's going to pop over like so um, what you can do is come the preset up at the top and pick any one of these now you can pick uh, as many as you want or you pick uh, whatever you want I'm gonna go for proton down here and it's gonna be like that it's gonna be really simple but what you can do is you can just mess around with the settings in depending on which ones you want um, you don't want a lot of them too high but you don't want them too low either so just drop whatever you think is necessary from the, these right here so just literally from preset to car size uh, that's all you need to do for that but now what you can do if you uh, customize car and you come to end offset right here if you come to this and press that and hit zero it disappears so what you can do is press this back to 100 so you want to hit this little icon right here right beside end offset hit this and then press that to zero come to about three seconds in and then what you want to do is you just want to hit uh, go back to end offset and then press and put that to 100 now as you can see if you start going backwards in the process like so it starts going away now that is um in my opinion a pretty cool logo um um yeah and that's pretty much all there is to that if you want to do it for text it's pretty much the exact same process so i'm going to do file new new project just, uh, don't read any server new composition text if i can spell properly <laughs> So 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing for this. Um, 
Now I'm just gonna drag that down there like so. Now you can see you got a background for this um, for this. So what you can do, right click, hit new, and got a text right here. Now as you can see you've got text here, so I'm just gonna type in my name. Um, I will leave the font in the description as well. It's um what what is it? <laughs> Regan Re Regensburg Grun Yeah, <laughs> that word. <laughs> so you can zoom in a little bit, click this right there, and then just hold control and just put it up a little bit. Size it up a little bit. You can hold control and it'll just stick to the middle. So yeah. Then up a little bit and then maybe turn it down a little bit so it's not completely yeah so what you can do now is you can just right click on this it, um i uh, yeah uh what i would do is i, would, it's, I literally just went in and just drag it down to there uh you need that selected drag it onto that layer um and I did the exact same thing as well, but obviously I didn't like a sponge. I did not do what I usually do. So pre-compose. I'm gonna go create this time. And I'm gonna go create masks for text. As you can see, you've got this little thing right here now above that original one. So yeah, drag that onto there. As you can see, it does the exact same thing as it did before. So you just go customize car car type and then layer masks now we'll come up with a nice blur come here and type in whatever you want so proton looks the best as you can tell and then what you can do is turn down the the, the glow intensity and uh, just do whatever you think looks nice and then i'm just gonna turn that down to 150 now what you can do is if you want this to if you want the, as you can see you can't see the background anymore so what you have to do is you right click on this blending mode and then hit add now this will go over that and it'll look really cool now if you just go along in the timeline you can see it's a little like, quite animated um <clears throat> but if you wanted it um animated even more you can do what you did last time go to the to go to the beginning go to the end offset this little icon right here go put it at zero um go to about three seconds in you don't have to have three seconds and then what you want to do is you can put it at 100 now we yeah, literally do the exact same thing and it will look even cooler so if you want to render this out what you're going to do is you're going to hit compose over the top Add to render queue and uh, you want to go to lossless and you want to change this to avi now um, if you have an nvidia yeah if you have an nvidia graphics card it should show up there it, depending i'm not too sure probably not um leave the rest um if you have a green screen if you're using it as a green screen click this and then hit Alt rgb and alpha so it'll look the same you want to hit OK, you want to hit text uh, right there, output to, and you just want to save this to usually not text to wherever you want it to be saved now. Hit OK, and then what you want to do is you hit render. Now I'm going to pause the video um, and I will render this out, and yeah, you'll see the end output uh, after this video. So there you go, guys. That is today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and as always, Go check out my, my Twitch down below. If I might be streaming after this, I might not, depending on what time this actually goes up at. So, yeah. And guys, for watching, I hope you have a great day and peace.